Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to stop Windows 10 from automatically downloading and installing updates. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Just left-click on the Start button one time, and you want to type in Run. Best match should come back or run. Left-click on that. Now in the open field, you want to type in MMC, and either want to hit Enter on your keyboard or left-click on OK, whichever you prefer. Now if you receive a user account control window for the Microsoft Management Console, you want to left-click on Yes. So now that we are in the Microsoft Management Console, you want to go ahead and left-click on the File tab up at the top left. And then you want to go ahead and left click on add slash remove snap-in. Now you want to go down and left click on the group policy object. And then left click on the add button right in the middle. So it's going to say welcome to the group policy wizard. Local group policy objects are stored on the local computer. Use the browse button to select one of the group policy objects. So just keep the default one local computer is fine. And then once you're done, just left click on finish. And now that you have done that, you want to go ahead and just close out of here after clicking on OK. Now I'm just going to expand the left side here a little bit. And we're going to expand the local computer policy, either double click or left click on at one time. And then you want to make sure you expand the computer configuration folder as well. Go down to administrative templates underneath computer configuration and expand that. And now you want to do that for Windows components. You want to go ahead and scroll down now until you locate something that goes by the name of Windows Update. So I'm going to just scroll down here. Just left click on that one time. And now on the right side you want to locate where it says Configure Automatic Updates. Double click on that. So again double click on that. And now that we're in this window here, you want to go ahead and left click in the Enabled field. So once you've done that, underneath Configure Automatic Updating, you want to click inside this drop down here and select the option that says Notify for Download and Notify for Install. So just left click on that. That happens to be the number 2 selection on here, so we're going to select 2. And then once you have done that, it should be pretty straightforward from that point. You want to go ahead and left click on OK. Now if we scrolled over it should say enabled underneath the state. So pretty straightforward as well. And once you're done with that, close out of the console. It's going to say save changes to console 1. You want to go ahead and left click on no. And then I would suggest restarting to your computer and hopefully that should have addressed your concerns for this tutorial. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.